So we said that, oh, pressure is function, not only function of rho, but also thermodynamic quantity that we express that is entropy. Okay? Then we could say small change in pressure, that is P prime. Mathematically means that we can write that is a dpd rho for s constant ds and plus dp ds and rho is constant d rho. Right? This is just mathematical expression. Small change of pressure would be due to one term is due to small change of thermodynamic quantity, that is entropy. Another one is due to the change of density itself. Okay? That is straightforward. And physically we found that change of entropy for acoustic wave case is almost zero. In other words, isentropic, the, the acoustic, uh, the fluid follows the isentropic process. All right. If the, f the, the frequency is very high, like megahertz, oscillate so fast, it might not follow the isentropic process. But in audible range, obviously it follows approximately, I, sh I have to say, isentropic process. Suppose you have a balloon over here, this size of balloon, and you compress it and release it. The balloon come back to the position where it was. That is isentropic process. Reversible process. Okay? So this term can be considered to be the compared with this term. So this is the ratio. Now we have the ratio between small excess pressure to the, the variation of density is now dpd as for constant rule. Okay? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. DPD row for isentropic process. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And this we have to we have to we have to obtain somehow. We do not know yet DPD rho for isentropic process. Right? So one way is to get this quantity experimentally for various gas condition. And that's why the text has table of DPD rho. Or you can model, I mean, you can get the uh, gas dynamics model and to calculate this. Okay. Eventually comes out that is proportional to C square. Okay. And this text does not go into the very details how to get C square from this formulation. Okay. So it's clear? Hmm? And this you have
have some curiosity. Hi, how he, how we get this religion, right? And the book did not say much about the way to get this relation. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Another one. What other physical quantities plays a significant role to understand acoustic behavior of a gas? Energy and power, right? What about energy and power? Acoustic energy, let's consider what kind of acoustic energy we have. Of course, first candidate would be potential energy. Okay. And the other one is because the fluid particle is moving, the, there must be kinetic energy. If you consider the acoustic energy per unit volume, then we say that is acoustic energy density. Okay. So energy density. simply means acoustic energy per unit volume or per unit mass which one is correct unit volume okay then what about kinetic energy density Intuitively, we can write that is one half rho zero u square for one dimensional case. Because kinetic energy simply means that the energy due to the motion of unit volume, I mean the, the, the fluid and unit volume moving with the velocity u, that is one half rho zero u square. Okay? 